Hi everyone, this is Susan, and I am here to show you how to format your first listicle post. Um, I'm also going to show you how to do your SEO, add your read more line, and um, I'm going to remind you on how to format your headers. So the first thing we want to do is we want to just grab um, the text from, this is Yitz's, which I didn't think it's very well done. I didn't think you would mind using this, so thank you Yitz. So you want to come up here and first you want to clear any formatting that might be here. You can certainly do this in Google. Google translates a little better. I, I, I just recommend always clearing out um, any um, HTML before you bring it up. You'll still have your links here, okay, and I'm also going to show you how to embed a video. And you can embed your links in your draft, but you're going to have to uh, make sure that you set it to open in a new window once it's posted. So let's go up and look at how to do this. So when you get to your site, you want to go to your posts page, and this will show you all of your posts, and you can do add a new post. If you already have a post that's there as like a placeholder from WordPress, you could just go in and edit that or just delete it and just start fresh. Um, I'm going to just paste all the text right here. Or maybe not. So I pasted the whole thing in. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the main headline in the right place. All you have to do is copy and paste it in there. And then WordPress will format it for you. Now what you want to do is you want to come down and you want to format your subheads. So I find it easier just to do, take them out and then put them in. So I'm going to do this heading. I'm going to paste that in. Now remember, you want this to be um, H2. If H2 is just too super big, you can do H3. But it should your subhead should be bolder, and it should be um, a slightly it should be at least one point bigger than your regular text. Okay. Now we want to add in the number, and the way that you want to do this with your listicles is this way. Um, you're not going to use the auto numbering, although it's going to try to to do that. So I'm going to put in a one. And see what it did? It it's trying to format it for me to use this this numbering, and we don't want to do that because when we do that, um, it won't bring up the the one. Um, it won't let me highlight it, and it won't let me change that size, so it looks dumb. So when it corrects itself, undo it. Just go Control Z. Okay. Now, um, Yitz did this very well. He had he just capitalized the H, and he didn't um, capitalize these. Now he could have like wrong hair and length. You don't have to. The key is to be consistent. You don't need a period or anything there. You can certainly, if you prefer to do it like a number sign, if you wanted to do, you could do that, but then take off the period. So it's either or. Okay. So you can do number one like that. I just like, I just like it that way. Okay. So then I'm going to go and I'm going to format the rest of my um, subheads like that. Then I'm going to come down here and let's check on these links. So here, if you have the link already embedded, you just want to highlight it, and then it'll bring it up. And then if you go here, it'll now you can it'll open in a new tab. So you have to do that, and then to all of your links, and then let's come back up, and I want to show you how to embed your video. So here is so the new customizer. It's a lot easier. I'm going to copy that link address. Okay, now I'm going to want um, to put the tutorial here. So I'm going to put, um, I'm either going to go to, you can go down here to embeds if you don't see the YouTube up top. But it's right here. Okay, and then all I have to do is put in the URL and then I embed it. Now, you can also write a caption down here if you want. It's not going to play until you publish it. Now, the nice thing about doing this is that it's a nice visual for your page, um, and then it's much more likely that somebody will actually really click on the video and watch it. The other nice thing about embedding video so it plays through YouTube's player on your blog is that co the copyright 
is not your problem. It's YouTube. So if somebody said, oh, this is a copyright, copyright violation and it had to be removed, that would be on YouTube. But then when they remove it, it's obviously going to be gone from, from your blog as well. So you should check on your, your links. Um, and then I want to point out, I thought that um, Yitz did a good job on his anchor text. The Smithsonian Institution also has a great article on the history of hair products. To me, this is the perfect way to um, do to anchor an outbound link. So good job. Okay, so that's how you get your basic text in, um, get your basic um, links done, and um, how to embed a YouTube video. So I will be back and I'm going to show you how to um, do your search engine optimization. Ooh, I'm going to show you one more thing though before I leave. Here, you want to add in your read more line. So I'm going to add, so you want to go into add and you want to go into layout elements and you have a more line. Okay, so what this is going to do after your first paragraph, you want to add the read more line in. That way, when you publish this, only this excerpt will appear on your, your blog page. So that way, once you know, once you start to have a lot of content, you know, it's going to be, if you didn't do this, you would have so much scrolling, it would be ridiculous. So this way people can see the excerpt, they'll see the featured image that's going to go with it, which I'll show you how to do in um, the next video. Okay, so that's how you do your blog formatting.